Since 1931, five families have run New York's Italian-American mafia. The names are familiar. Bonanno, Colombo, Gambino, Genovese, and Lucchese. But times have changed, especially since the days of John Gotti, who liked to bask in the limelight. Is the mob as powerful? Could another mob war be brewing? News Force Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deese joins us now with the state of the mob. Yeah, Chuck, and last night's mob hit, it's too soon to know if it's an internal struggle for power inside the Gambino crime family or some other personal or business dispute. But what the FBI says, while the mob has been taking a low profile in recent years, the five families are still very much in business. If this hit was a mafia power play, the FBI and NYPD have a message about the bloodshed last night on a Staten Island street. I think they've learned that the attention um, is not good for business. The Joint Organized Crime Task Force now deploying dozens of agents and officers to this case. The task force has been busy in recent years dealing with organized crime suspects. While taking a lower profile, investigators say they've certainly not gone away, changing some of their alleged rackets with the times. They still conduct the same bread and butter money making activities that they always have, such as the illegal gambling, which turns into loan sharking, which turns into extortion. A leader in the Gambino family, Frank Calley, kept a low profile. A far cry from the late John Gotti, the flashy Gambino crime boss of the 80s and 90s, who took over after the sensational 1985 gangland shooting of Paul Castellano outside Sparks Steakhouse. But Gotti's high profile brought unwanted attention, as did the crazy act of past Genovese crime boss Vincent Cingiganti, who wandered the streets in a bathrobe to try to avoid arrest. But in mob case after case after case... I'm going to bust this jury. That's number one. And number two, whatever he's got in jury, I'm taking it. You understand Informants and recordings show the crime families continue to muscle in and make money from fraud to union ripoffs to no-show jobs. Uh, there's going to be a guy that's going to be needed there to count the trucks, sit in a trailer, do nothing, and uh, I think it's perfect for you. Arrests making some difference. That's a disruption of their activities, but it's certainly not a dismantlement of the overall family. Now with this apparent hit, investigators looking to see why there is a recent uptick in mob-related violence. Even the mayor seems somewhat surprised. We thought those days were over. I guess old habits die hard. The five families somewhat weaker, but law enforcement officials describe their organized crime strategies as kind of like mowing a lawn. You have to keep at it. And last night's hit now bringing a bright light on the Gambino crime family that of late had been operating in the shadows. Because yeah, a lot of us have been saying we hadn't heard much about this here lately, and you were here in 1985 when Castellano went down. Yes, it was yeah. a brazen hit. That was much more public. And this was right outside that restaurant, Spark Steakhouse, and his body was right there on the sidewalk by a, by a car. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, Jonathan, we thank you for that report.